This is inarguable, infallible truth of whether or not the Illuminati exists right, right here on Icaga. Well, I'm Matt. And I'm Carter. And welcome to It Is Kind of a Gray Area. Welcome back, folks. Yeah, we got a real live one today. Yeah. So, Matt. Yeah. Let me throw some names at you here real quick. All right. Jay-Z. Beyonce. Oh. Taylor Swift. Okay. Dick Cheney. <laughs> George Bush. Uh-huh. Did I say Beyonce? Yes. Beyonce again. <laughs> oh, my gosh. What do all of these people have in common? They're all alive? Are they? Are they, though? <laughs> uh, no, they're all part of the Illuminati. What? Yes. They are secretly controlling your every move, reaction, and action. I'm actually more flattered than anything. I know. They, they take so much time out of their day just to control you. Yes. I don't even care. It's I'm just, just nice wow. to be thought of. <laughs> Beyonce's pulling one of these strings. Like, oh my gosh, guys. Right. <laughs> like, just, I don't even know what to say. Right. Uh, obviously, oh God, I hope it's obvious. I don't actually believe that. I don't think you believe that. No, I don't believe okay. that either. But today's episode is all about our favorite made up, mysterious, maybe it's real, but I doubt it, conspiracy, the Illuminati. Yeah, I was going to say made up, made up, like I... I mean, I don't know. Technically, everything man-made is made up. So. Oh, that's that's true. And yeah. everything is made up of something. So everything's made up. Yeah. There's not a single thing that's not made up. So, official shade, does the Illuminati exist? And okay. we're talking about the current Illuminati as is popular on the internet and tabloids and my younger brother. <laughs> uh, but, um, yeah, the Illuminati was at one point a real organization. I mean, like hundreds of years ago, though, right? In 1776, the yep. Illuminati was founded in Bavaria as a society dedicated towards reducing the church's authority over the state. Okay. So they were basically intellectuals that felt that the church had too much power, and mm -hmm. so they formed a little secret organization to try to come up with a way to just kind of take down that power, I guess. Organization is a very soft way of saying cults. Right. That's the original one. It was busted fairly early on. Since then, the name Illuminati has been attributed to tons of other organizations. Mm -hmm. I think also this was made really popular because of the National Treasure movies. There's a lot of like oh, conspiracy yeah. stuff in there with like... I remember that. Yeah. yeah, you've got like the triangle on the top of the dollar bill, with mm -hmm. the all-seeing eye and like... I guess that's, like, they were saying that all of the founding fathers were the in, in the Illuminati then, I yeah, guess. Yeah, yeah, Nick Cage is in it. Right. Yeah. The movie. Right. And the Illuminati, probably. Well, he was definitely in the movie. He was definitely in the movie. We know that much. Uh, but, yeah, so the, the prevailing idea of the Illuminati now is this idea of a network of politicians and artists and celebrities from around the world pooling their resources and influence to control world governments basically man and there's this belief that they're trying to establish something called the new world order which is like a i don't know them ruling the world or something and so we're gonna get into this and just give our opinions and then ask the universe i don't want to offend anyone who does believe in the illuminati i will say personally there is a one percent chance that this is real in my mind still a chance but only one percent i think it's twice that I also believe there's a 1% chance of uh, dinosaurs existing in some part of the world that we haven't discovered yet. Mm. And I mean, like, not one dinosaur, but, like, all of them from different time periods and one island, like uh, Jurassic Park. Okay. All there's right. a 1% chance that's out there. In the same way, there's a 1% chance this is true in my mind. And please, if you believe in the Illuminati, send me every single bit of proof you have. I love it. I love those videos. They're just fun to watch for me. Mm -hmm. So feel free to try to prove me wrong. I will happily discuss this with anyone who wants to. I personally just don't buy into it. And part of the reason I don't buy into it is because who do you think are the two most powerful people in the Illuminati? Keep in mind, this is a, a network made up of former presidents, secretaries of state, religious leaders, mm -hmm. brilliant scientists, all of these incredibly accomplished 
and talented and skillful people are in this, who do you think the two people are that will lead the new world order as the king and queen? Easily. Easily. Oprah and Elvis. <laughs> Close. Uh, Beyonce and Jay-Z are the supposed king and queen of the new world order. That's where the whole thing falls apart to me. You believe in an organization where Beyonce and George Bush are both going to the same meetings to talk about controlling <laughs> the world. And for whatever reason, out of this whole network of people you've imagined, a pop singer. I could get behind, like, there's a network of politicians trying to control the world and they're using musicians and artists to influence our minds. To spread it, yeah. Yeah. Okay, that has some legs, but... Uh, they're not going to be the ones in charge. That makes no sense. Yeah. Another point that falls down for me, there's this idea that Taylor Swift has been replaced by a clone, a Satanist clone, who is the daughter of Anton LaVey, the founder of the Church of Satanism. They look super similar, so people think the real Taylor Swift at one point was killed and replaced, and now she's writing music, the new Taylor Swift is writing music to poison the minds of our youth or something like that. I don't know. If uh, if her music did a full 180 from, like, what she usually writes to just, like, uh, uh, Hail Satan, yeah. um, I, I, it'd be more likely. I'd be more likely could, to believe it. Yeah. A little bit more believable yeah. than just breakup songs. How is that going to create a new world order? And then also there's just this thing with um, symbolism popping up everywhere. Yeah. People think, uh, like, different halftime shows or music videos, like, Katy Perry and Dark Horse or, I don't know, other ones, uh, they think that they're putting out all of these Illuminati symbols and that you can watch really closely and pick it out and then you'll be able to know that they're members of the Illuminati, which is the stupidest way to run a cult. Are a you secret, kidding me? A secret cult. A secret organization yes. where you throw out your signals to everyone in the world? How is that going to be effective? Yeah. How do you establish a secret organization that's running the world and they won't shut up about it? How does that <laughs> How does that hold water for anyone? I think they just want to get Beyonce on there and be like, guys, we got Beyonce and Jay-Z. Like, I mean, I think it's time to lead the charge. Right. But seriously, that like going like this in a music video, like that's, you're just, why, why would that be? Now we're all part of it. Right. No, wait, wait. No, this is, no, it's this. You shoot the, the football made oh, out right. of paper. Right, but then you have to block it to try and to keep the paper. then you have to block paper. it. And then and the Illuminati is blocking the football because they control football. Because you are the football. <sighs> <laughs> but no, that's that's honestly one uh, of the weirdest aspects of it to me. Because, like, just, that doesn't make sense. Like, you're doing the music video and you're, like, dancing around and you go like this. And you're like, wait, 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 what was, what was that? Oh, it's just a dance move, you know, you just go, like. Why are, why are you making a triangle? Oh, it's nothing. Don't worry about it. It seems like you're deliberately making a triangle for some reason. It's like, maybe I am. Okay, so you're obviously hiding something then. It's like, well, who's to say? You. you you're, you're doing a weird symbol because you're trying to allude to something. Is this the Illuminati? Maybe. Maybe it is. Maybe it isn't. So you're admitting you're part of the Illuminati. No, 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 no. I'm not saying that. You would never, never be able to figure out if I'm in the Illuminati. You just did it again. <laughs> How is that... How does that make sense to anyone? <laughs> I I don't know. I mean, unless I mean people are like, oh, they're they're breaking out of their shell. Like they are they're official now. They're trying to recruit the world. Yeah. They're telling everyone that they exist. Yeah. You know what? Maybe we haven't considered the fact that being in the Illuminati is so much freaking fun yeah. that you just want to tell the world. That's the first thing you do when you join a cult is publicly declare that you are now part of a secret cult. Yep. I will say though, if you are part of it, stop messaging me on Instagram. Right. I literally have gotten dozens, dozens about uh, joining the Illuminati. And people were just messaging me like, hey, uh, become one of my brothers or sisters and become the Illuminati. Or, hey, really like your show. Come join the Illuminati with me. Me and my, I'm like, what is happening? So the, the Illuminati has talent scouts. Basically. <laughs> They're just traveling around the country looking for the cream of the crop to pick up and join the cult. Yeah, I, I guess we're right there with Beyonce. Yeah, I guess so. Uh, but yeah, I don't care. Stop I stop messaging me. I don't want to be part of the Illuminati. Right. Personal choice, guys. Yeah. I don't I don't think this makes any sense on any level. I don't I don't think you have a secret organization if it's not a secret. I mean, Come on, guys. If someone in their basement watching YouTube can crack the secrets of the most powerful organization in existence, yeah, how powerful are they? 
Should we really be concerned if a 14-year-old with a laptop can topple the empire that Beyonce and Jay-Z are building? Mm. Doesn't sound like there's a huge uh, threat here. Uh, so officially, you're saying there is no Illuminati right now. Yes. Okay, but you think there's like a 1% chance. But right now, you think there's no active Illuminati. Right. Okay. Yeah, the whole New World Order, Beyonce uh, leading the charge thing, I don't I don't think that makes any sense. I, you know, there's secret fraternities at colleges. It doesn't mean that they're trying to take control of the college. It's just a fun thing to do to have like a little secret club. Everyone does that. When yeah. we were five years old, you would build a little cardboard clubhouse and come up with a fake handshake that you would need to get in. I mean, I have three secret clubs. Right. <laughs> right. Yeah. But I think there is an Illuminati right now. Okay. I don't believe the whole thing with jay-z and beyonce and like all the higher ups but i think there is somewhere enough people have taken this seriously where they have made the illuminati real kind of like an um, illuminati fan club basically basically yeah a copycat illuminati Illuma uh, copy uh, the Illuma copy that's <laughs> fantastic uh yeah i think that is a thing i don't think it is what they say but i think the illuminati is um currently uh, running at some kind of capacity right but did you know if you rearrange the letters and the word Illuminati, it spells out this is BS? <sighs> that is so not true because there's no B in Illuminati. <laughs> <laughs> well, Illumin you have to you have to change the Illuminati. Oh. <laughs> See, what you do is you take the letters, break them down into individual dots, and then organize those <laughs> into new letters, and then it spells it out. I yeah. They I really think... hide it in there. They don't want you to piece it together, but yeah. it's in there. That's some like nanotech type stuff. <laughs> right. uh, yeah. Okay, well let's figure this out. I want to, the universe uh, knows and sees all. Whatever the answer is here, folks, is the answer. Whether or not this is real is going to be determined by the universe. Yes, and this is inarguable infallible truth of whether or not the Illuminati exists right, right here on Icaga. Now, since you've gotten closer to joining, yeah. I think you should represent. I'll represent that they exist because right. they will not stop talking to me. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay. Well, let's do this. So I'm saying Illuminati is not real. Matt's saying Illuminati is. Yep. Let's find out. All right. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Boom! It's real. It's real. I'm a, I'm a little excited and nervous at the same time, <laughs> but that means the people that are talking to me are legit and they want to be my friends, um, and they're not just crazy people. Or maybe they're both. I think they're both. Probably both. All right, Carter, ladies and gentlemen of the Illuminati, uh, I know you're out there. <laughs> Apparently. Again, you won't shut up <laughs> talking to me. Would you rather have to live the entire your entire life, the rest of your life, starting now, indoors, like in one building, in okay. one house, okay? Do I get to pick the house? You get to pick the house. Ooh. Yep. Okay. Or outside. Wait, you said house or building. Uh, well, I will say you can't choose to live in a mall. You know, you can, whatever. Okay. It's just indoors or outdoors, okay? And when you say indoors, like you can't even like crack a window. You can't go outside, no. Right. No. You have like air conditioning and all that. But it's all like it's like a space shuttle. Right. It's I can't like, like go all up to, sealed. Yeah. Gotcha. Yep. Like a bunker. See, my first impulse is to say indoors. Mm -hmm. um, Just comfort. I'm an indoor person. I was raised as an indoor person. Uh, I don't know how to survive in the wild. Uh, if I had been raised not in captivity, I would have those hunting skills. It's clearly a cat analogy. Right. <laughs> but you can't just take me and release me into the wild now and expect me to flourish. Like I need to stay in a zoo. That's a human zoo. All right. Man, this is a tough one. But I think I'm going to say outdoors. I would too. I would absolutely say outdoors. I think you have a much more rewarding life. You can't travel if you live in a house. That's true. Like just one building. Like That's you true. can't travel. Yeah. Uh, okay, so today we learned that uh, the Illuminati exists. Apparently. Uh, I Man, who knew? Yeah. Apparently, probably a lot of people. A lot of people on the internet figured this out but before us. You thought, but now you know. Right. Like, now you know, no. Yeah. You know? Now, anyone who ever questions you and says, like, oh, come on, the Illuminati's not real, you can say, uh, watch Ikaga, the universe definitively proved Illuminati exists. Yeah, and you'll sound just as logical. Yes. <laughs> no, no, no. The universe said so. Watch this YouTube video about the Illuminati. Right. It's like, well, I mean, yeah, this episode, this 
this YouTube video is about the Illuminati. So it's kind of weird to say that we're doing one for them. Yeah. Um, and we also found out that uh, we will both want to live outside. Yeah. Be more rewarding, more uh, more adventures, more exciting. Yeah. Are you physically incapable of going indoors? Because then no one could put you in jail. That's true. They could. There's an outdoor jail. It's called zoos. <laughs> yeah, that would be funny. Just a zoo has like an inmate in one cell. And they're like, why is he there? It's like, well... He has a condition where he can't be kept indoors, but he's a violent murderer, so we had to stick him somewhere. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, well, if you guys like today's episode, there's a lot more out there. Who knows? Maybe we've sprinkled in some Illuminati symbols and references in previous episodes. You'll have to go watch every single one of them to find out, so get on it. Yep, but in the meantime, remember to comment, like, and push that subscribe button so you don't miss out. Yep, and remember to befriend local wildlife by living outdoors. Ring the notification bell. Don't forget your dagger when wearing your cloak. And remember, the first rule of Illuminati is to never talk about Illuminati. Mm -hmm. And as always, I, I Kaga. Kaga. Yeah. Yay!